Welcome to Earth's most forbidding continent, where survival itself becomes a daily battle against nature's most extreme forces. Antarctica isn't just cold. It's an alien world of ice that challenges every aspect of human existence. The Temperature Nightmare Antarctica holds the record for the coldest temperatures ever recorded on our planet. The lowest air temperature measured reached a bone-chilling minus 89.2 degrees Celsius at Vostok Station, while satellite measurements have detected ground temperatures plummeting to minus 98 degrees Celsius. To put this in perspective, this is 10 degrees colder than dry ice subliming at sea level. Even during the warmer coastal regions, winter temperatures average between minus 10 and minus 30 degrees Celsius, while the interior experiences winter temperatures that drop below minus 60 degrees Celsius. The South Pole itself has never recorded a temperature above minus 12.3 degrees Celsius, even during its warmest day. The Desert of Ice Contrary to popular belief, Antarctica is actually the world's largest desert. The continent receives less than 166 millimeters of precipitation per year. That's less than many of the world's hot deserts. Some interior regions receive as little as 50 millimeters annually. The air is so dry that scientists and expeditioners constantly battle cracked lips and severely dry skin. This extreme aridity combined with the intense cold, creates an environment where liquid water is virtually non-existent for most of the year. The little precipitation that does fall comes entirely as snow, with rainfall being extremely rare and limited to brief summer periods along the coast. The Oxygen Challenge Antarctica presents a hidden danger that many don't consider, altitude sickness. With an average elevation of 7,546 feet above sea level, Antarctica is the highest continent on Earth. The South Pole sits at 9,301 feet, placing it in the high altitude category, where effective oxygen availability is reduced by over 30% compared to sea level. At these elevations, a healthy person's blood oxygen saturation drops from the normal 97 to 99% to just 87 to 89 percent or lower. The Earth's rotation causes additional atmospheric pressure drops at the poles, creating a physiological altitude equivalent to 10,000 to 11,500 feet at the South Pole. This means that simply breathing becomes a constant challenge, with increased respiration rates, elevated heart rates, and the risk of altitude sickness affecting anyone who ventures there the psychological wasteland. Beyond the physical challenges lies an equally daunting psychological landscape. Antarctica represents complete sensory deprivation. No birds singing, no trees rustling, no signs of life whatsoever. As one Antarctic engineer described it, this place reminds me of space or an artificial habitat on Mars. The continent experiences months of total darkness during winter, followed by months of continuous sunlight during summer. This extreme disruption of natural circadian rhythms, combined with complete isolation from the outside world, creates unprecedented psychological stress. Research has documented widespread increases in depression, anxiety, fatigue, and a phenomenon called Antarctic stare spontaneous fugue states where people become completely unresponsive. The Hostile Wildlife Reality While Antarctica does host remarkable wildlife, these animals have evolved over millions of years to survive conditions that would kill humans within hours. Emperor penguins huddled together in groups of thousands, creating living insulation against minus 40 degree temperatures and winds reaching 200 miles per hour. Weddell seals maintain breathing holes in the ice with their teeth and can dive to depths of over 600 meters. These animals possess biological adaptations, thick blubber layers, specialized blood chemistry, and behavioral strategies that humans simply cannot replicate. The few species that do thrive here demonstrate just how extreme the environment truly is. 
Even these supremely adapted creatures struggle as climate change alters their delicate ecosystem balance. The foundation of impossibility. These environmental factors, the record-breaking cold, extreme aridity, high-altitude oxygen deprivation, complete seasonal darkness, and psychological isolation, create a foundation that makes permanent human habitation virtually impossible. Unlike other harsh environments where humans have established civilizations, Antarctica combines multiple extreme factors simultaneously creating a perfect storm of survival challenges that no human culture has ever successfully overcome. The few thousand people who do work in Antarctica temporarily rely on massive external support systems, advanced technology, and regular rotation schedules to survive. They live in heated, sealed environments that create artificial bubbles of habitability within this frozen wasteland. Despite the allure of exploring Earth's last great wilderness, Antarctica remains an environment fundamentally hostile to human life. The extreme cold, dryness, and altitude conspire to limit natural survivability, while the ecosystem's delicate balance leaves little room for human interference. Even with modern technology, survival here demands enormous energy, resources, and careful planning, making permanent habitation impractical. Beyond natural challenges, human activity carries significant environmental risks. Pollution, introduction of invasive species, and the impact of tourism threaten to irreversibly damage Antarctica's pristine ecosystems. The continent serves as a vital scientific laboratory and climate indicator and protecting its unique environment has become a global priority, reflected in international treaties and strict regulations. These legal frameworks further constrain the possibilities of permanent settlement, ensuring that human presence remains temporary and carefully controlled. Ultimately, Antarctica stands as a symbol of nature's power and fragility. It challenges mankind's ingenuity but resists colonization through a combination of brutal conditions and worldwide commitments to conservation. While it can be visited and studied, Antarctica is destined to remain uninhabited by permanent human communities, preserving its icy isolation for generations to come. As Antarctica faces rapid environmental changes accelerated by global warming, the urgency to protect its fragile ecosystems has never been greater. Sea ice is reaching record lows, and industrial-scale activities like krill harvesting threaten the continent's biological foundation. The ongoing international efforts to conserve Antarctica highlight its critical role in regulating Earth's climate and sustaining global biodiversity. Safeguarding this last great wilderness is not only a scientific responsibility, but a collective commitment to future generations, ensuring Antarctica remains a pristine sanctuary rather than a foothold for permanent human settlement.